See, when filling out college applications, what you want to do is you want to put them in order of priority, all right? Mm -hmm. You want to do it based upon curriculum, accreditation, or whether or not it's geographically desirable. Got me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Vanessa? This one's in Paris. Huh. I don't know how that got in there. I got it! Hey, hey. I'm Judy Wasserstein. This is my son, David. We just moved in down the street. Oh, well, I'm Bernie Mac. Welcome to the neighborhood. Oh, how nice. You have children. Yes, this is my nephew, Jordan. Jordan, this is Miss Wasserstein and her son, David. Hey. Hi. We were hoping there were other children in the neighborhood around David's age. Well, I'm quite sure Jordan and David get along real well. Am I right, Jordan? Oh, right. Doggone America, it's my job to expand his horizons, whether he like it or not. I didn't know a lot of Jewish folks growing up either, but now, uh, some of my closest friends are Jewish. My agent, my lawyer, my accountant, even my doctor, he's cool with me. <laughs> Only way to go. Only way to go. Well, what's your doggone problem? That was rude to you. Uncle Bernie, he's a nerd. Nerd or not, you're gonna be a good neighbor, you're gonna play with that kid. Mm. No, Vanessa's a great student. It's just that it's competitive, right? So I wanted to be realistic and consider some state colleges. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So what do you want to do? Oh, no way. You have the wireless controllers? Uh, I, I can't. It's the Sabbath, and we're not allowed to use electricity until Saturday night. It's a Jewish thing. <laughs> My mom must have been Jewish, because in Chicago, it was the Sabbath a lot. Wait, wait, wait. Would you be breaking the rules if I worked the controllers while you told me which aliens to shoot? I guess not. I never thought about that before. <laughs> There's not a roommate that I can't get around. <laughs> okay, uh, so press press up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, and start, and then I'll get you unlimited ammo. Should you be using cheat codes on the Sabbath? Technically, you're using them. Hey, I thought this game doesn't come out for a month. How'd you get it? Uh, my cousin's a beta tester. In fact, he's gonna have the arcade version of this game at his bar mitzvah this Saturday. You wanna go? It's gonna say I'd be a bunch of video game nerds, huh? Probably. Sounds like fun. Good luck. Want to see how many donut holes I can stuff in my mouth? My record's 13. Not now, Brianna. I'm writing an essay for my college applications. What for? I want to think you're wasting your time. What are you talking about? I heard her say you have no chance of getting into Berkeley. She said that? That and something about aiming too high. I can't believe she would talk about me behind my back. What the family says is right about her. She is bougie. Therefore, at the age of 13, a boy is responsible for his deeds spiritually, ethically, and morally. Leviticus 19.18, Va'ahavta l'reiacha kamocha. Should love your neighbor as you love yourself. Treat others the way that we would want to be treated. Amen. 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 Oh, man, I don't care what you guys call it. This was church. You owe me. How's that for payment? Holy Jesus! In here we say Holy Moses. Oh, good service. Well, it's your house. I'm just here to party.
Hey, hey, George. Well, hey, Uncle Bernie. You have a good time with David? It was great, Uncle Bernie. You were right about opening my mind to other cultures. It gave me a sense of fulfillment. I'm glad to hear that, boy. I'm glad to hear that. I'm exhausted, Uncle Bernie. I'm going to go take a schwitz and then plot. What's up? You see that, America? My plan worked. So I'm not the one to spend my own dreidel or felt the fish for a compliment. But by showing Jordan a new culture, I did a misfall. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Yiddish for a solid, which is a south side of Chicago for a boom. Which is, anyway, America, let me finish exposing Jordan to some culture. And I'll get back to y'all real soon. Ta-ta. Last night was so much fun. I danced so hard, I emptied my inhaler. Yeah, me too. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, man, there was a lot of good stuff in those goodie bags. I wish there was apartments for every weekend. Actually, there are. It's been named Mitchell season, and all the kids at my school are having one. Wait, you go to another school after your regular school? And on Sunday. You definitely need to party. But since I'm new in town, I'm not invited to any. So how are we supposed to get in? If your people can find their way through the desert, I'm sure we can find our way into Encino Gardens Banquet Hall. Yeah, I know. And she's got some nerve talking about me. Well, now I won't feel so guilty about tonight. Hold on a sec. Let me get back to my room. going somewhere. What are you doing sneaking out? You're supposed to be studying. What do I need to study for? You said I would never get into college anyway. What are you talking about? Brianna told me what you said about me not being good enough to get into Berkeley. What? I just meant that it's competitive and you seem like you're not applying yourself. Like, for instance, sneaking out. Brianna told you that too, huh? Maybe. Yeah, well, if she'll tell my business, you know she'll tell yours to somebody else. Yeah, I think you're right. See how smart you are? Now prove your brilliance. And get out. Wow. Check it out. Put one of those on. Put those on. Ah, no, it's not, not a hat. See, it's called a yarmulke. Got it. You know what? Try another. That's not, it's not working for you. Here you go. Pick it up. Dude, you are so cool. You are so cool. You're wearing the yarmulke, you're wearing it well. Yes. All right. Yarmulkes? Check. Talus? Check. Inhalers? Check. <sighs> what if they ask the invitations? Just follow my lead. If you've been to one of these things, you've been to them all. Uh, uh, oh, we just stepped outside for some air. He's an asthmatic, so we know where we're sitting. You know, I don't remember seeing you two at the ceremony. Uh, um, uh, oh, oh uh, you don't? Oh, it was lovely. I mean, the best part was when the rabbi quoted Leviticus 19.18. Vahata ledai echa kamoka. Yes, that was lovely, wasn't it? Well, enjoy the party. Three schools and all you come up with is, uh, uh. Hey, we're in, aren't we? No thanks to you. How's my head? Yama
Yeah, like somebody had a blast of a time last night. Uncle Bernie, please, not so loud. Coming down from the sugar. Well, I guess you wouldn't want this package that came for you from uh, Jeff Green. A uh, package from Jeff Green? Oh, let me see it. Invited to Jeff Green's bar mitzvah. His dad's a dot comer, but he got out right before the bubble burst. Mm. Oh man, they're having a medieval theme, complete with knights, maidens, and a feudal serf. Wow, that's real velvet, Uncle Bert. Check out the quality. Yeah. That's nice. I mean, I gotta pick out my outfit. I cannot go to that looking like a schmendrick. Look at that. The boy got an A-list invite. You see that, America? If you open yourself up to new experiences, the world will reward you. Man, I mean, they go all out for these things. The only thing I got when I was 13 was a water bill put in my name. Big Mama said if I was man enough to take a shower twice a day, I was man enough to pay for it. Sweet. Brianna, Brianna, honey, can you keep it down? I need to make a quick call. She won't miss it when we turn into a song, though. Yeah, it's amazing how young kids just seem to adapt to whatever we throw in front of them. Hey, guess who's bar mitzvahs this Saturday? I know, can you believe it? Hey, you gotta wear that dress shirt. You know, with the raised collar, the ladies can't get enough of that one. Yeah, that would go well with my new blazer. So what are you gonna wear? My father says that wearing a black suit during the reading of the Haftorah makes me look more dignified. We like to keep it old school. Hey, wait a minute. Why would you be doing the reading? It's my bar mitzvah. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be doing it? Oh, yeah. So what was I thinking? It's going to be a very small, traditional party. You know, it's just for close friends and relatives. And my bubby's flying in from Boca. Oh, man. I just remembered. I can't go. I'm going to be out of town on Saturday. What? You, you can't. You got to be there. It's my big day. I completely forgot about the trip. I'm so sorry, D. Um, I gotta go, though. I'll see you later. Yo, Jordan, come here a sec. Look here, son. You're an expert. You think gators are appropriate for uh, David's bar mitzvah? Wait, you're going to David's bar mitzvah? Yeah, the whole family was invited. No, but you can't go, Uncle Barney. Why not? Because I told David I was going to be out of town that weekend so I could go to Jeff Green's bar mitzvah. He's giving away plasmas. Man, I thought you and he was boys. I can't believe you choose material things over your friendship. Wait, I don't think you heard me. They're giving away plasmas. Look, son, you're 13 now. I'm not going to make you go. you got to make your own decisions. But me and the entire family, we're still going. But what am I going to tell David? I don't know. You have to figure this one out on your own. Mm -hmm. I'm just testing him, America, like God tested Abraham. Uh, I'm not worried. I know he'll come around, because doing the right thing is in the Mac blood. That's right. It's up for maybe his mama. Well, his daddy's blood ain't too helpful either. But... OK, I'm a little worried. I, I just didn't know how to tell you, so I lied. <sighs> I just didn't want to hurt your feelings. Hurt my feelings? No, no, it's it's fine. You know, if you're cool with not being there, I'm cool with you not being there. I'm glad you understand. Well, I'll see you later, D. See? That's what I was worried about, America. The boy ain't like Abraham, he's like his daddy. Running out on folks, not showing up, breaking promises. Oy vey. A son of the commandment understands that friendships enrich and strengthen our wisdom and character. True friends are those who have a meaningful and lasting relationship. The material gains of this world are temporary, but true friendship lasts a lifetime. 
So when the final chapter is written, God will look into the hearts of men and ask, who are you with? So Mazel tov to my cousin David. May he never find himself on the wrong side of an isosceles triangle. <laughs> Now that we've had all of David's family up here, it's time for some of his friends to come up and light a candle. Bernie. What? You gotta get up there and say something on Jordan's behalf. I don't think David has any friends. Come on now, Juan. I don't wanna go up there. What am I supposed to say? I don't know these people. I don't know you a comedian say something funny. Fine. I, I'd like to say something. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I once heard a rabbi say that a friend is someone who sees my faults better than I see them myself, but has the patience and the grace to forgive. Oh. To my friend David, you're sure, Kawash. <laughs> well, and Mitch. Yeah! I cannot do another horror. My feet are killing me. I really need to go talk to Dave's cousin, Abe. He's a podiatrist. <laughs> Son, you did real good today. And I know it must have been real hard for you to come here today, no wasn't it? Yeah, I know I was wrong. But Dave's a good friend. I shouldn't have treated him like that. You know what, son? It might be his bar mitzvah. But today, you're a man. Come on, Jordan, we're doing the electric slide. Hey. Grab it to his foot. <laughs> Hey, Aunt Wanda, mm -hmm. um, when we get home, can you help me spruce up my drill team outfit? I was thinking we could put some tassels and sequins on it, really make it pop. Yes, of course, I think that would be fun. And you know what? I just ordered enough new sewing machine equipment to fill up the whole room. Hey, maybe I can make some extra money doing alterations for my friends. We could even start our own business right out of the house. Now you're thinking. <laughs> Uncle Bernie, please don't allow Wanda to take my room. What are you talking about? I heard I Wanda on the phone, and she said she was going to kick me out and turn my room into a sewing room. Oh, Wanda can't sew. Man, why are you teasing the girl? I'm trying to teach her a lesson. Well, if you're trying to teach her a lesson, just teach her. You know, instead of scheming and plotting, just come direct with her. Look at it. Get baby girl all upset. Thank you, Uncle Bernie. You're welcome. Now I know why you spend an extra day on the road instead of coming straight home. <laughs> what? What? You're intercepting text messages now, huh? Let me tell you something, baby girl. If these white folks wasn't here, I'll break you off a little something. I'm not kidding with you. America, I got the boy on track. Now I have to teach that girl to keep her damn mouth shut. Now I got to come straight home. Messed up my tea time. Thank you, LaShawn. And anytime. I'm just testing them, America. All right, God tastes... Watch this. Olay. <laughs> what is it, Ove? Okay. <laughs> Ove.